To serve big in tennis, it's very important to know how to load your legs correctly. Up to 55% of the power in your serve comes from your legs. And you should think back and down and also turn your back hip slightly backwards. If you do this, you load your back leg correctly and have the foundation for a big serve. I will now show you three different drills to improve your serve so you can serve bigger in the future. The first drill is to learn how to load your back leg correctly. Place three cans of tennis balls like I'm doing here and then touch the first one, second one and the third can. And you should think like this, you move your weight over to the back foot, so you think back and down and turn your hip slightly backwards. Remember to keep your chest up when you're doing this exercise. This exercise will teach you to load the back leg correctly. It will help you improve both strains and balance in the very important back leg. So you can do this drill like three sets of three repetitions just to warm up your back leg and get that correct feeling so you have the foundation for a great big serve. The second drill or exercise that I like to show you is a lesson from Pete Sampras and Roger Federer, two great servers. They are loading the back leg in a slightly different way. Pete Sampras, he was loading his back leg by shifting his weight back and down but also lifting his front foot toes, like I'm showing here. Roddy Federer was shifting his back weight back and down and turning a hip, and at the same time, he was lifting his front foot heel. This way, you really get the weight to the heel of the back foot. And I think the Sampras way is better if you use the tiptoe stance, and the Federer way is better if you use the square stance. But my advice to you is that you test both the Sampras way and the Feather way and see what works best for you. The last exercise and drill I like to show you I call load and explode. It's a fun exercise to do and improves your confidence and teach you how to load your back leg correctly and explode up and into the court. I usually start around the service line doing three serves from there. First I load my back leg correctly by shifting the weight back and down and turning my hip slightly back, putting my racket up in the power position, doing the toss and then push off from the ground and explode up and into the court. I do about three serves from the service line, then move back a little bit, do another three serves, move back again, do another three serves and then all the way back to the baseline and do my last three serves. If you want to take this exercise to one more level, I suggest you doing your serve in one motion. So you're doing the loading, tossing and swinging in one motion. Next time you practice, make sure you test drill number one and drill number two to get the feel and understanding of how you load your back leg correctly. And then you can use exercise or drill number three to really try to load and explode and get that extra confidence when you work. So next time I see you, the lesson will be about hitting a bigger forehand using more lag. But until then, remember, we at Swedish Tennis School always help you over the net. Take care now, and I hope to see you on the practice court very soon.